お客様がお望みならどこでも駆けつけます自動手記人形サービスバイオレットエヴァーガーデンです Hello everyone and welcome to our view for Violet Evergarden I'm Anime Pro Malesh as always here at Anime Casual Nate This show made my jaw drop when I watched the first episode due to its beautiful animation. Did you feel the same, Nate? I'd agree there. This story is one for the eyes, but the actual underlying story didn't capture me as fully, so let's get right down to it. Violet Evergarden debuted in winter 2018 with 13 episodes. The show follows the titular character Violet Evergarden, a former child soldier who must now grow up and find her way into post war society. Violet was raised to be a soldier. Even being seen by some as just a tool. Adapting to an independent and peaceful life became a struggle for her. She's also missing her commanding officer, who was tragically lost on the battlefront. Luckily, a friend of said officer takes Violet under his wing and hires her to become an auto memory doll. Her work as a doll requires her to assist people in writing letters that truly expresses how the client feels. From there, the anime illustrates Violet's journey to becoming an auto memory doll and learning how to be a human as well. Violet's journey is really the only overarching story in the anime, but there are some standalone episodes that work brilliantly. The anime takes place in an alternate Earth European setting that isn't quite steampunk, but it does have a touch of industrial revolution. It reminded me a lot of Full Metal Alchemist, and I liked it. The premise for this story is that Violet is unable to feel emotion, and in this society, there is a huge demand for auto memory dolls. The dolls are highly renowned for their empathic abilities, so they are trusted with turning raw emotion into beautiful prose. Violet, being unable to express emotions even as simple as sadness or joy, spends the entire anime interacting with others to learn this empathy and become a worthy auto memory doll. Let's discuss those characters now. Of course, the titular character Violet Evergarden is the primary character of this anime. As a young girl, Violet Evergarden was discovered by Major Gilbert during the war. Violet was cold and silent, but inexplicably highly trained in close combat skills. Gilbert took care of Violet and also helped hone her abilities, but throughout this, Violet was still completely devoid of all emotion, causing everyone else to see her as an object. Gilbert grew very attached to Violet in a father daughter like relationship and believed Violet would be able to learn how to feel emotions properly. When Gilbert passed and the war ended, Violet was forced to live among civilians, and you see her rocky development in the anime. I liked Violet's character development, which is good considering it's pretty much the entire anime, but I didn't grow too attached to her, so by the time the story was over, I didn't feel much either way. The side characters show Violet what it's like to be a human. The first ones to do so are her co workers Erica, Iris, Benedict, and Claudia. Each of them teach Violet the skills of an auto memory doll, and some even have individual episodes that flesh out their characters. Beyond that, each episode focuses on a different character's request for Violet. They tell a wide range of stories that each aid Violet in learning many complex feelings. There is no deep conflict in the story, but Gilbert's brother d e f r e e does dislike Violet throughout the show. He views her as a weapon that failed to do her job in protecting Gilbert. Their relationship becomes a highlight in the second half of the anime. The anime strands come from side characters who have great stories that contribute to Violet's growth as a person. Now let's discuss the animation and art style. Violet Evergarden was produced by Kyoto Animation. They are an amazing animation studio known for their high quality art and animation. Some of the studio's previous works include Clannad, Sound Euphonium, and A Silent Voice. Violet Evergarden so far is their magnum opus and is the most beautiful and detailed anime I've seen on TV. The art style sticks with their usual clean look for characters. The background art received incredible attention to detail, looking lifelike at points. Kyoto Ani put a lot of work into making Violet Evergarden one of the best anime and Japanese television series, and you can tell with every episode. I agree completely that Violet Evergarden is a remarkably produced show. I always pay attention to background art for anime, and it is 10 out of 10 here. I love the painting aesthetic. However, for other extremely beautiful work like Your Name, sometimes the animation itself isn't that remarkable because there just isn't a lot in motion. Violet Evergarden does indeed have action. And although I wouldn't say Kyoto Ani is Studio Bones level, the action and the motion portrayed in this animation was great. Now let's discuss the soundtrack and voice acting. The soundtrack for this show was not a large focus for me. It has a modest score with European style tracks that definitely complemented the atmosphere. The ending and opening themes are alright, and the show uniquely has multiple episodes which completely omit either or both themes. In fact, the very first episode has no opening or ending themes, which I thought was a very bold, stylistic choice in of itself. I really enjoy the tracks as it added to the many emotional moments in the show. The anime even uses silence effectively, especially with the flashback scenes. 
As for the opening theme, I loved it, as it fits thematically with the show. The same can be said for the ending. Another thing I loved about the show is the Japanese voice acting. Violet's voice actor did a marvelous job. Hearing her sound robotic and monotonous early on, and then sounding full of life as the show progressed, was beautiful. Kyoto and I know both the animation and the soundtrack for Violet Evergarden. As always, I watched the English dub, and for this show, I thought it was great. Violet's character speaking mostly in monotone is actually kind of tricky to nail in my mind, but it's really a core part of her character. I thought her English VA did a great job, and of course, when Violet's true emotions break through and she pours her heart out, her English VA did an amazing job of that as well. I have no complaints with the rest of the cast, so this dub is highly recommended. Early on, anime fans really hyped up Violet Evergarden due to its first trailer blowing everyone's minds with its animation. After watching this series, I'd say it lives up to the hype. While it may not have the most interesting overarching story, the show nails the characters' personal stories. I cried a couple of times watching it. I recommend anyone watch the show just to see the magnificent animation. Overall, I thought Violet Evergarden was a nice and short show and told a poetic story of a young woman who helps others and learns how to feel. At first, I was slightly bored with the show, but by the end, I was content, just not amazed. Nonetheless, it being 13 episodes actually helped a lot. It's a neatly wrapped package, and I would recommend this show to anyone. Violet Evergarden can be streamed exclusively on Netflix in both the sub and dub flavors. As always, if you've already watched Violet Evergarden, click the first link in the description for a post-view discussion, which includes spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Violet Evergarden. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with a brand new Taki Sobo review. Ciao.